New month, new Canva features. Today I have five novelties I would like to introduce you to. This is What's Hot in Canva, episode 38. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? Ronnie here, your go-to Canva guru. Today we talk about the new things. And as I was expected, this month of April is going to be a little bit slower in terms of new features because next month Canva will be holding its biggest event of the year, Canva Create 2024. So they are going to announce a bunch of new features. I don't know them yet, but I'm definitely going to watch this event. And so, yeah, we will be covering all of that good stuff right here on on the channel so if you don't want to miss it make sure you subscribe and hit the bell now this month's new features we have five to go so let's start with number one the first new feature is called export canva docs to docx so this feature basically allow us to transform our canva document into word document or google docs documents so let me show you how you would proceed so i'm here on the canva homepage. let's head over the docs icon okay i want to find a doc template i'm going to click on see all right here in the right corners and my goal is to find a template that is a little bit elaborate okay i don't want just a simple block of text like this with a header i'm looking for something a little bit more elaborated so i want to see if it's correctly exported into a google doc all right so this travel to-do list will do i'm going to click on it okay customize this template so right here we can discover this template together it has a banner that spreads across the entire width of the document then a table another large image then we have a table with some little to-do boxes right here, list items. Okay, I'm going to tick a few of these items to see if that's correctly ported over as well. All right, so now in order to export your Canva doc into a docx document, you will just need to head over your share button and then the download. Okay, download button. Once you're here, you should see file type PDF standard. That would be the default. Click the little arrow and select docx. Okay, Microsoft Word document. So that's the option that you are looking for. So I'm going to click here. It's an A4 and I'm going to download this. So you see my download is going on right here. The progress bar shouldn't take too long. There you go. It's ready. So now what I'm going to do is to find that document for you guys and show you how it opens. Since I do not have Microsoft Word installed in my computer, I'm going to be using Google Drive and Google Docs to open this DocX document. So the way you do this from your drive root menu, I would say you go to the new button and then file upload. Okay, file upload. I'm going to go and fetch this document that I just exported from Canva and it's going to be opening up. You see here one upload complete. It's right here, the travel doc. Quick little conversion to a Google doc and there you go. So now it's opening. Just going to wait one sec until everything is properly loaded and there you go. So I have my doc document and it's editable. I can play around with these elements right here. You can see I can every element is clickable. I can make that header really stretch across the entire width of my document. So there will be some minor adjustments, but I love that everything is here. Like my tables are here, my little check boxes. Cannot check them here on this doc, but you see the one that I actually ticked are actually ticked. So if I wanted to reproduce this tick box, I could probably bring it here and for this, I could use the formatting options right here. So I believe it is format text strike through. Yeah. So overall, I'm very satisfied with how this document has been kind of like transported from Canva to my Google Doc experience. And yeah, very cool. Like I was expecting more things to be broken, but this has been working very well. I guess it will also depend from template to template in your Canva docs. Some template might not work as well as this one, but for me, the experience has been pretty smooth. So well done Canva for this feature. As an avid Google Doc user, I'm really happy to see that I can now easily kind of switch between the two platforms seamlessly. One last thing before I switch to the next feature, export to DocX is going to be available for all Canva users, so free, pro, everyone on desktop and mobile. 
All right, moving on to the second new feature. This one is called Magic Write Streaming. So this is Canva kind of giving a little boost to its Magic Write feature. For those of you who don't know Magic Write, you might be a free Canva user, so you don't have access to this feature as it is a pro only feature. So Magic Write is the chat GPT of Canva. It's basically an AI text assistant. So it helps you generate text or come up with ideas just like chat GPT. However, Magic Write in Canva had a couple of shortcomings. Like coming back to your prompt and editing it was kind of impossible. And yeah, it was just not as good as ChatGPT. So Canva knows that and they worked on it to come up with a better, more efficient magic write. So let me show you first where to find it. So the little Canva assistant that should be right here in your lower right corner, click on that and you should be searching for magic write. Normally it's gonna be the first one right here, brainstorm with AI suggestions it says so i'm gonna click here and you can prompt okay so it's basically you type your prompt just like in chat gpt so give me a recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies okay i'm gonna put an easy recipe not just a recipe i want an easy recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies so immediately canva should start generating the recipe for you so there you go here's an easy recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies that you love okay ingredients i have all of my ingredients for being an avid oatmeal raisin cookie let me see unsalted butter sugar yeah that seems about right cup of raisin okay so i have my ingredients and then i have instructions i like that everything is bolded so it's very clearly structured so one of the things that canva said they have improved in the recent magic right booster i would call it a booster is the structuring so now the answers are much better presented i would say in a nicer form for us to read and discover something else they've been doing is to give us the ability to retry so there's a retry button okay so you could regenerate this answer so the retry here is equivalent to regenerate on ChatGPT. If I click on insert, this will be inserted into my post, into my page right here. I'm going to show you in a sec. But what I think is the best upgrade so far is that you can use a little arrow to go back to your prompt. Okay, give me an easy recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies. So I could change my prompt. I'm not losing my prompt. Previously, you would lose your prompt. So I would replace the oatmeal cookies for chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so generate. So normally, it should give me another recipe and substitute the raisins for chocolate chips. So, okay, some semi-sweet chocolate chips. So there you go. This is how it works, okay? I like that it's now more user-friendly. I would say you don't pull out your hair because you lost everything. You cannot come back to your prompt. So let me show you what happens when you insert it into your page. So this is what happens. And we don't lose all of the formatting, which is nice. This doesn't work like this in ChatGPT. When you copy stuff from ChatGPT, GPT, you paste it somewhere else, it just looks like a block of text. So not very nice. But here, Canva keeps the formatting for you. So this is actually something that is better than ChatGPT. And I highly appreciate that. Now, once you have inserted the text on your page, there's no way to come back. As far as I know, I don't see any way to come back to this, to this prompt. Okay, so if I click on it and click on Magic Write, I can do a few different other options. I could apply brand voice, I could continue writing, I could summarize. So these are basically quick actions. If I put continue writing, it will elaborate on that text box. Summarize, it will shorten it. Rewrite, it will just rewrite it in a different way. More fun, it will add some humor. More formal, sprinkle fairy dust. So these are all kind of like asking the AI to reformulate this in a different format or a different tone of voice. But there is no way to actually come back to my prompt. So be aware of that, that when you use it, we do have a possibility to come back to the prompt before we insert the text box on our Canva page or Canva document. All right, so that was the novelty. Again, this is going to be available for Canva Pro users only. And me, I'm all for that. Like if Canva wants to improve its AI tools and bring them to the level of open AIs or even just use the same ones i'm all for that because these are two sets of tools i use all the time so please by all means canva more of that
All right, moving on to the third new feature already. This week's tutorial is going to be shorter because there is less material, but this one is a simple UI UX tweak. It's a simpler, more intuitive navigation system. It's just a simpler and easier way to navigate between your files and folders in Canva. And you can do that from anywhere in Canva. So I'm going to show you what this new navigation looks like, both from the homepage and then I'm going to show you from inside the editor. So from the home page I'm gonna head over my project section okay click on project here you can choose like share with you or like you want to see only the files that you are the owner of I'm gonna use share with me and I'm gonna go to team Rondi clicking on team Rondi here so these are all my folders within the team Rondi folder now the new navigation is what you see right here on the left side column so I am in the team Rondi's folder and under this folder there are other folders app branding courses website YouTube okay so app branding courses website YouTube so they have been reorganized by alphabetical order but this is basically Canva showing me a glimpse of all the different assets that are in my team around this folder now if I go to YouTube again I see all of the folders that I have available here so I think this makes sense because you might have a bunch of folders so having them all here and being able to navigate from here you see I can open and just go deeper into my folders from here just like you would on your computer you don't have to double click and then double click and then double click and then double click. no you don't have to do that you can simply use these little arrows right here and access whatever you are trying to access so that's from the home page now let's come back to the editor and let me show you how it works from here so the novelty is this hamburger menu right here when you click here you should see a menu like so and by default what it will do is to open the folder you are currently working from so me I am in the what's hot folder because before every what's hot episode I create a presentation that I put in my what's hot folder I am an organized guy so what you see here is the content of this what's hot folder there's no further folders in that folder it's just all the what's hot episode presentation but I like that I can navigate from here you see I was in this folder right here and I was seeing all of the assets of that folder so basically you can do the same you can navigate all of your folders from here open any of these if I want to open a live session thing I can go here and just start opening up from here so that is in a nutshell the new navigation options in Canva and I really like them all right, moving on to new feature number four. This one has to do with the Canva creator profile. So it's a little bit of a more niche feature, but it's called personalized profile social cards. So for all of you who are contributing to the Canva library, either templates, elements, you all have a Canva creator profile. Okay, Diana has one, for example. And when you share that link, the link used to look just generic. All right, so the novelty is that Canva has now personalize these links and in order to show you I need to get to a Canva creator so I tried this morning with Diana's profile so Diana Munoz on Canva so at Diana Munoz so that's her profile so if I copy the URL right here Control C it's copied I can go back to full screen and I let's say I want to share that so let's see I want to share that on slack okay with someone i could just paste that and in a couple of sec it's going to generate the tile and i'm going to share that you see this is the old way of sharing so this is not personalized this link to her profile is not personalized and for some reason it's not working with her profile so she's fixing that with canva now i really want to show you this feature so i'm going to use my second favorite Canva creator after Diana, of course. And I'm talking about the famous Roger Coles, okay, aka my social designer. So I believe I already follow Roger. So I am here in the creators I follow under template. And I'm just going to find Roger here because I know I should be following Roger, right? Who am I if I'm not following Roger? Where is he? I don't see him right now. There you go. Here is Roger. So I'm going to click on his profile. And again, I'm just going to get out of the full screen for a sec, copy this URL 
have gone back to full screen because you know you guys like me better in full screen i believe all right so back to my slack here i have copied the link to roger's profile okay there you go i'm gonna click enter and now I can see right here this nice little photo of Roger. So that is what this feature does. It personalizes the link to the creator profile. So we are going to work with Canva to fix Diana's profile ASAP because it doesn't look good if everyone else does have the feature unless except her. I can show you with yet another profile that this works for pretty much anyone. I can come back to the creators I follow and show you with another creator. Okay, for example, I'm going to go with Sandy, Sandy Sevilla, also a good friend of mine. So I'm going to click here and just grab the URL to her profile, coming back to my Slack pasting. And let's see if it works. Yeah, we can see sandy's profile picture right here so this feature is something that i really welcome i am all for more customization when it comes to helping canva creators i'm pretty much all for anything that really helps the canva creator get more visibility get more personalized get better stronger profile i think this is the way to go and last but not least, guys, I have one last feature, which is by far the most interesting one in this episode. I'm talking about the possibility to now retain your photo edits when you replace editing photos. So very long title. This is the official title Canva gave us. I didn't make this up. When you work with photos, you can now, once you have applied filters, you have applied like cropping, maybe background remover, an outline, and then you want to grab another photo drop it in your canva doc and it will automatically adopt the modification you made to your previous photo so this is extremely useful but let me show you how it works because i think i didn't do a great job explaining what it does so this photo right here of me with a blue background i'm gonna first start with a few modifications okay i'm going to remove the background so that's going to be first step remove the background now i'm going to go to shadows and add an outline to this okay outline let's keep it black or maybe change it to some more funky color let's go green okay green all right so this is what i did i did two things i used the background remover and i added an outline around myself now if i come back to my folder right here with all of my photos let's say i want to take this one i'm going to take it and drop it on top of my previous photo and canva is going to process it and apply the same effects and there you go so you see this was extremely useful i can do this again and again I'm just going to drop another photo it's Going to remove the background and apply that same green outline around myself so yeah i really find this useful this is going to make us save so much time when we create presentations when we create docs when we create even video social media that we you know if you are planning your entire month with social media content these are manipulations you would do the same thing over and over and over so really like that let me show you with some different effects and show you that it works with different things for example if you want to apply let's apply two different effects the duotone effect on this little graffiti art i found in the streets of barcelona let's go with mystic okay like this color and i'm going to round the corners let's say 25 so there we go this is what i have all right so now i'm going to go to my uploads find something else okay let's find something interesting ronnie and diana enjoying the flowers of belgium so there you go it applied the same duotone effect and it rounded the corner in the same proportion so i really love this feature this is a real game changer and this is really giving me a lot of hope in terms of how much easier everything could be in canva it's already easy but i think like they are really trying to avoid these extra clicks and i really like that all right that's all i had for you guys today let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite feature and if you are looking forward to next month canva create all right i'm done for today i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the what's hot playlist we have plenty more episodes right here for you to watch